recommend to start out what's called a smart start. So this is building that classroom culture, uh, getting the routines of these protocols uh, as you start a brand new school year. So let's look at what some smart starts are. So I have a video that will play. All right, so uneduprotocols.com, and we'll show you the website here in a moment. Um, at the top, you can click Smart Start, and you're going to get this free Smart Start first week of school grid. And so it's labeled the different protocols, the different days of the week, and uh, these Smart Starts really are a great way to build that classroom culture. So again, Smart Starts, uh, these protocols teach the expectations while building classroom culture, setting the tone of the classroom, how to use the tech tools, meet a deadline, work with people, and keep the tempo, small chunk, set deadline, move on. So they're getting these routines. And you're going to see in a moment, some of these edu protocols are like five minutes, 10 minutes, one or two minutes present. And you're going to see there's this kind of flow to these protocols. Um, and also, it's an easy way for them to get to know each other, also to start to communicate, present, uh, and kind of work out some of those uh, habits and routines in the class to make the protocols even easier to do. So one of the first smart starts is non-digital. Uh, it's uh, called the best name game ever, and you might have played this in different a variety of ways. But the best name game ever, pretty much it's like this. Um, a student introduces themselves. Hi, my name's Matthew. Then the class goes, hi, Matthew. Next student goes, hi, my name's Sarah. And then the class goes, hi, Matthew and Sarah, and so on. So the class has to keep remembering that first person, the first student's name and the next student's name. As each student starts to introduce themselves, they repeat, but they repeat from the very beginning everyone's name. So it's it's a repetition of kind of remembering each of the students' names. So that's kind of a really neat one, the best name game ever. Um, you might, for the littles, which might be a little bit challenging to remember everyone, you might just have the best name game be a uh, sentence frame. You know, my name is, and I like, you know, blank. So they can fill that in. Um, so those are a couple ways that you could use that. Then this is one of my favorite smart starts. I actually use this in one of my computer science zero period classes. It's called Freyer a Friend. So Freyer model, as you can see those examples, you have the main topic in the center. Then you have those quadrants, the definition, facts and characteristics, examples, non-examples, which is a great learning tool in itself. It's taking this idea and making a smart start out of it. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'll click on all these links that you see on the slides are the templates themselves. So I'll click on that, opens up the template. So this is what it looks like. So you would describe your classmate in one quadrant. You're going to be interviewing uh, a fellow classmate in the class. So you're going to be paired up. In the middle is the classmate's name, then the top left quadrant, describe what your, your classmate looks like. Um, then you have what are four things you like, four things you don't like, and then draw a picture of the dream pet based on their description. Um, and again, you can kind of customize this as you might want as a teacher. The neat thing is students can introduce each other uh, to the class. Um, students can also uh, introduce uh, their fellow student to another group. Um, and then as a teacher, you can start to maybe have students have similar likes uh, meet together and start to get to know each other in the class as a smart start. 
The other one, this is another great smart start. Uh, I really like this one. The worst Prezzo ever. Just a, what a great title of this one. Um, at the very top of this slide, you have a link. There's a video for high school and middle schools. Uh, you click that link for Life After Death PowerPoint. Have the students watch that, take notes on it. For elementary, there is a link here, Do's and Don'ts for the worst Prezzo ever. It's a slideshow that you would show the students. So pretty much students get to choose a topic that they like or dislike. Like, um, then they have to break one rule per slide. That's right. They're going to try very purposefully to make a really bad presentation. Uh, and they have to break a rule on each slide. And they have to label what rule they're breaking on each slide. So let's take a look. This is the template right here. And as you can see, it's kind of labeled with the rules and then what video or slideshow you would see. Even has an example of what a bad slide would be. So this one's being labeled bad spelling, too many animations, bad background. Uh, so they have space for the student to build it. Uh, let me show you, uh, uh, this is an example of, what, of one that happened in my class. And so this is where they worked on it. Uh, so they had a bad color scheme, uh, really bad fonts, too many bullets, different styles of fonts, uh, colors clashing, uh, and then you had seen this one, and then too much data on a slide, and then just where the colors, you know, dark background, dark colors. So they learned, you know, those techniques, what not to do, and they're getting it out of their system. This is also a really uh, easy way for them to present in front of the class. These are really fun for them um, and non-threatening and it's a really great way for them to start to communicate, present in the class as well with these worst puzzles ever. So those are some really great ones to try. For the littles, um, you might just say, you know what, uh, uh, do a good uh, rule, do a bad rule, or um, maybe just have them do one slide with just too many images on it as like, why is that not a good presentation? Uh, one place that you can get the templates is eduprotocols.com, the main website. At the very top is free templates and smart starts to click on. You can get started using them. Also, if you're really looking for how can you use these protocols with math, there's a really great website called mathreps.com that has these edu protocols geared for math. Also in the slide deck, we put in one slide all the different edu protocols we talked to about today in this webinar. So the left side, you can click on those links that will open up the template. The right side are notes for what those protocols were again. And then we have one here for Smart Starts. Easy way to get to the menu of Smart Starts that we had and notes on the right-hand side. Everything you saw today in this slideshow, you have a copy of. You can click on all the same things I did for the templates in here. It's at bit.ly forward slash eduprotocols webinar.